Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We get a list of uh, 13 places today. It's the Friday. I hope you have a great weekend planned. And it's probably going to be cold. It was freezing this morning. Anyways, we've got uh, Maple. It's the first one up. It's uh, unit 302, 304, 990. Same models actually showed up a couple times in the, this week. It's called a Windsor model, 1,002 square feet. Not a lot of upgrades in here too. It is the cheapest one. Uh, some of the other ones beat them either with features or with that, that ceiling height like we talked about. I, I could see this one going for a shade under three, but if they wanna try and get three, they might get it. Cause there's, there's really for that, for the two bedroom, two washroom, that's pretty much one of the lower ones, even though it's a little high compared to, uh, to history. So Sprague is 349. And this is my favorite floor plan of this version. It's a woodbine or a, a Spring Valley is the old name for it. Nice open concept main floor. You've got a breakfast bar in the kitchen. They've done some crown moldings. You can definitely see there's a lot of pride of ownership in here. You've got your pot lights. You've got the walkout balcony here. And then you've got your two bedrooms upstairs, which is a nice floor plan because there's also two washrooms. So even if somebody had a roommate or uh, a grown adult, two grown adults and two bedrooms, it can really work very well for that because each person has their own bathroom. Now, Farmstead is 389. We have seen some of these get close to uh, to four. Uh, usually, if they're over four, we're talking finished basements. We're talking about ravine views and so on. Now, the uh, the kitchen. I don't know if the the cabinet color is really going to excite a lot of people. It's a little more basic inside, which is probably why they priced it at 389. Uh, let's see what happens. There is a small uh, maintenance fee associated with this one. It's considered a freehold with what we call a POTL, which is a parcel of Tideland, which means garbage and snow removal are part of the fees that you pay into. But for the most part, this is functionally a freehold house, meaning you do your roof and your windows and all the stuff when it needs to happen. Now Zimmerman is 419 and so it's about 1700 square feet they've done some nice finishes in here but a good thick molding can really finish the look of a house and you can see the baseboards and the moldings and the way it just frames everything within uh it's open concept boy you wish that post wasn't there but i'm sure it's there for supporting reasons i do like the way they did the the moldings right around all the corners here i think it really adds something uh white appliances i think if you're going to go for that look I think you, you sort of go all in and, and you go with the stainless steel. I looked at this and I thought, what the heck is this? It looked like a basement just for a brief second. And then I, I saw the lawnmower and I thought, that is the garage. You know when someone paints the garage, without a doubt, unequivocally, it's hard to say that word, you know that they've taken really good care of the house. I've never seen a house with a, a nicely painted garage where the house doesn't kick a lot of butt too. So... Let's see what happens with that one. It does face Louis St. Laurent, which will continue probably to be a busy road for a long time. We've got this one on Woodward, and most people are going to look at this one and say, hey, the house isn't perfect, but it's got this massive yard plus a pool, 60 by 120, and they've done a lot of work in the pool, the liner, the all that kind of stuff, the front siding, the eaves troughs. The one issue with this one is that it's on electric baseboard heat, so you actually don't even have the registers or any of the four stair system in this home so it can be difficult to even put that in and a lot of people what they do is they have a wood burning fireplace but they've got window unit acs like the, because you just don't have the infrastructure to build an air conditioning unit uh centrally like a central air so it's uh it's interesting i think that this one is is um is going to attract a lot of attention and i hope the owners have kept their bills and they can kind of show buyers how much it does in fact cost hopefully a lot less than what some people think because the general impression is is that electric baseboard heat does cost more than than a gas forest air system so jervis is 426 it's a hillsview and 1510 square feet it's got a nice i love the uh, the cabinets in here you've almost got it's like a shaker but it's got a little bit of a different uh, design i like it i think it looks good uh chef's kitchen upgrade you've got some nice looking floors pot lights and so on so they've done a good job in the home. Normally what we say on daily homes is that you don't get a huge premium for having a pie shaped lot if you're a townhouse or a semi. However, I don't think they're that far off. I mean, if you said, okay, 10 or 15 for the lot, you know, is that something where uh, the house is worth 410? Historically speaking, it just might 
be there. And and the fact that there's no neighbors beside is is a nice thing. I mean, there's neighbors further away, but they're a good distance away. Uh, the deck's been built, all the rest of it. So I could see these guys doing pretty well. The one caution I'd have is that they're looking for a February 2014 possession. So that's, you know, the better part of five or six months away. So that's something that could certainly interfere with their marketing is that somebody may may be fine with the price, but they may object to the closing. So it's one of those risks that you take. I would say they were probably a little bit safer if they were listing even into October. It would still give them plenty of time. And uh, so it might be a little early for that, but we'll see what happens. There are some people that, that maybe uh, want some more time to save up because that's a classic sort of nice first time buyer house. Now Gleason is 454 800 and I don't know how big the house is. I'm assuming it's about the same size as the one on Zimmerman, about 17 or so. Uh, modern finishes. You can even see actually up here that they they redid all of the uh, the railings. They kind of did this modern look inside. And I don't know. I think this one uh, is it, a lot of it depends on how it's going to show when you see it in person. 114 foot lot is a little bit deeper than the standard. I mean, Mattamy is about 80 to 85 feet. Uh, I don't know. I, it's it'll be interesting. That's a pretty high price for for even that size of place. Landsborough's at four fifty nine. It's nineteen eighty eight square feet. Uh, Forty thousand in upgrades. I don't know. Granite countertops, hardwood floors. See what happens. I get really cautious when I start seeing townhouses over four fifty because right now you could go buy the one on Bowring or the one on Bennett, fully detached, fifteen sixteen hundred square feet. The one on Bennett has a finished basement. Yes, it's not perfect, but with a little bit of work, it could really shine. And uh, I don't know, it just, there's a, a natural bumper to me, I think. Philbrook is a uh, Quincy Corner, 1878 square feet. It's a double garage. And I've always believed that the best angle for this one is actually turn this camera around and have just that garage right here. And so inside, you've got a living dining. And then separate from that is the kitchen family room. And the colors are okay, you know, it just, it's it's all right. The finished basement, I think, is going to be the only way that I could see this one getting up into the 530 range. Because uh, beyond that, we've seen some of these models sell for less with uh, with about the same finishes. So Savaline is 568.8. It is a Royal Fern model, so it's uh, just over 2,000 square feet. Staggered garage, here's the thing about that. You lose the, the parking space here, especially if there's a sidewalk in front, so you have three spaces. Now what happens, the garage comes forward and then now you have more living space. So that actually creates basically this room here versus just having one big family room. So dining family and then you've got your a uh, bit of an Eden, and then you've got your kitchen here. It's all hardwood floors, which I like because you can really configure the space any way you want it to versus having the divide of having the tiles on the one side. Uh, granite counters, you've got nice finishes in the kitchen. So usually when we've seen this model sell, and we haven't seen one sell in probably a couple months, it's, it's if it gets up in this range, you're usually talking finished basement. These kind of finishes plus the finished basement. So let's see what happens. There's not a whole lot for sale in the sort of 550, 560 range. Um, it might be a little on the high side, but it's not incredibly far off. Now we profiled this one on McDougal yesterday, and uh, so I won't go over it again. I put it in the list by mistake. I still feel the same way. It's not really shining or standing out as a deal to me. You've got Pringle here. This one's come off and on the market a little bit in the last couple months, and so we've got 659 here. Uh, very similar to the one on the other side that's for sale, same price, same size, and same reaction really for me. Attached housing over 650 in Milton really doesn't make a lot of sense. I think that I would much rather convince someone even to take a, fit, a hit of a couple hundred square feet and just to say, look, that's at least you're getting something that's detached, that's separated from the neighbors. And Missioner is 699, and we don't have a lot of information about it. There's no size here. All I can see is there's hardwood floors here, and there's nine foot ceilings and granite counters. That's about it. There's a finished basement, and I assume the builders finished it because it's a relatively new street. And that's all I got. So there's 13 listings for today. And if you're coming to town, you can join us on a tour of homes. And all you need to do is to just go over to that side there.
that side and uh, just fill in your name and your information when you want to come for a tour. So we'll see you on Monday with more Multi Daily Homes. Have a great weekend.